Ling's work is focusing on the Changguan, the long staff. This is a typical Chinese long staff with tapering from the base to the thinner tip. And it's, it's pretty long, it's taller than I am, maybe 10 feet or so, 9 feet, 10 feet. Some people use longer ones, there can be more or less of a taper. They can be much more uh, flexible than this. They can be much heavier than this. But this is the basic style that you're going to want for this work. Typical Chinese long staff. And I'm no stranger to the long staff. I've done a lot of training in it in all different kinds of systems. Uh, for example, the Bai Mei white eyebrow long staff. I used to demonstrate that quite an acrobatic form. And a very aerobic form I used to demo in the New Year's demonstrations for my Shaolin school. Also, a typical Xing Yi combative staff. That's a whole other set included in this system that I'm not going to present now. Also, Yi Quan has a whole set of pole exercises that are very interesting. And other systems of Xing Yi Quan typically do include staff work that's combatively oriented, so I encourage you to check that out. What we're going to cover today is energy centric staff work, which is called Shen Gun by my teacher. You may have seen the other clip, Shen Jing. Shen is to interpenetrate or to infuse, and in this case, Chang Gun, the Gun spelled G-U-N, refers to the long staff. So we're going to see a set of five exercises, one paired with each of the elemental fists, and these are intended to develop the heavy yet light, the paradoxical quality of heaviness to an outsider, yet the feeling of lightness to yourself that is characteristic of energy-centric Xing Yi Chen. These long staff drills must be paired with quiet standing. Typically these were done by my teacher as a separate set even though they are sort of philosophically paired with each of the five fifths and I will cover that connection. But in practice we would do these uh, drills and then do quiet standing after each one. And then after all five were covered and each of the five had been followed by quiet standing, then we could do other fists and other drills and combative work and so on. So these are a little bit of an encapsulated set on their own. My teacher had an amazing facility with this implement, with this long staff. He was just a genius and master of that. And on numerous occasions I saw him use the long staff, the tip of it, from a distance of several feet to kill a fly with a tap from a distance of anywhere from five to ten feet shooting this thing out through his hands and kill the fly on a window pane. So that fly would be smashed flat on the end of the staff and the window pane absolutely untouched and unbroken. That is a real master of staff and, uh, and uh, I'm not pretending to be at that level but I want to show you how to use the staff to develop your empty hand energy for Shini. It's not necessarily combative staff work, per se. Another element we want to consider of this staff work is that in the first part of the work, there is a vibratory quality to it because of the mechanics of it. The mechanics of it will induce a vibration in the staff and in your arms. That's simply physics. This is not pole shaking where we try to pretend that the kinetics and the physical mechanics of the wave, of the physical wave propagation from the feet and so on, that shakes the end of a, of a flimsy pole, are internal. That's not internal in the sense that we're talking about it here. That's just physical shaking of a kinetic wave propagation. You will feel some of that vibration in the staff in these drills, but I am not claiming that that physical vibration in the mechanical part of the drill is somehow internal energy per se. That is physical energy, and it should be acknowledged as such by those who also work on standard pole shaking that you can see all over YouTube. This is different. We, we will feel those vibrations, but the internal part of these exercises will come with the quiet standing that must be done after each one of these. If you don't do the quiet standing, you will get no benefit whatsoever from these. If you do the quiet standing, you will be absolutely blown away. These are like intergalactically powerful exercises that I think you'll enjoy very much. Number one, the first exercise, this one is coordinated with P-TRAN in terms of the system 
the structure of the system. You want to stand with your feet approximately shoulder width, just natural standing. Hold the staff in one hand. Raise your hand as high as you can on the staff without tension, without strain. So fairly high above your head. Keep the staff fairly straight. We are going to do 10 little bumps down the staff by releasing the pressure of our hand, letting it drop for a centimeter, hardly, just barely a centimeter, and then catching it again. So like this. two of these with ten catches on each drop. Relax your off hand, relax your off hand by your side. In fact, relax your whole body, relax your shoulder. Let gravity do the work, just stop the gravity periodically. On the last one, as you feel the vibration, you will feel the vibration through your hand and through the pole. That is mechanical vibration. I'm not claiming otherwise. Stand and relax. Make sure that your shoulders are relaxed, that you have a good grip on the staff, your feet are planted nicely. Then do it on the other side. Again, relax the other hand. Your active hand is high on the staff, but not strained. Relax as much as you can and do the drop of 10. And you'll end up in different places depending how high you started and so on. Do another drop. Then after two drops on the right, two drops on the left, we're going to set the staff aside. And we're going to do quiet standing, either in the Tai Chi hands or the more Xingyi shape of hands. You will feel a huge surge of energy now through your arms, your forearms, coming up from your feet. This is the point of the exercise, this standing that comes after. So stand for at least a minute preferably two, three, even four minutes. Just quiet standing. So I'm not going to do this after every demonstration of the other four, but remember, this is half the exercise. In fact, it's more than half in terms of the importance of it. All right, number two. This one is paired with Bung Tran. Here we simply rest both hands high on the staff, with the staff fairly straight. Extend your arms. The, the arms aren't bent for any of these exercises except where I tell you to. And again, we're going to do 10 catches. And you'll feel those little vibrations through your arm and the staff on each one. Raise up again, high as you can without too much strain. And again. Feel the vibrations at the end, and then lay the staff aside gently and come into your quiet standing. You feel that huge surge of energy through your feet, through your arms, and through this, particularly from the elbow to the fingers, the unit I always emphasize in this work. For number three, you're going to begin with your right hand straight, just like uh, the first exercise, except the pole will be in front. Your off hand, in this case the left hand, will be resting on the wrist of the gripping hand. They're both as straight as you can make them without straining. And again, we're going to come straight down for 10. With the left arm just resting, it is there along for the ride. The right arm and the right hand really only, because there's no tension in either arm. The right hand is doing the work. Relax at the end, feel the vibration, stop, and go for one more round. Rest the off arm on the wrist. Let the active arm, in this case the right arm, do the work. repeat it on the left with the staff pretty much in front you rest your arm and you go down twice with 10 short dropping grips every time
Then we lay the staff aside again and we would do our quiet standing. Number four, this one is correlated with Zuan Chuan. And we're going to rest the right arm and the right knee over the grip of the left arm to start with. And we're only going to do five drops here. Try to keep your balance. Just raise that a little bit. And raise yourself up again. Rest it again. And that'll be one repetition of that. Then you'll do the same on the other side. Lay the staff to the side and do your quiet standing as before. That one is correlated with Zuan Chuan. For number five, we're going to start with our fists, the loose, soft fist of Xing Yi Chuan that I've covered in all the other presentations. With your palms facing out, a soft fist. Do not clench up your fist just because it feels like kind of a badass Kung Fu look to it. It's not. You have your soft, well-shaped fist. Now, rotate the palms upward as you drop the pole down and catch it. Come back, rotate and form the fist. Let it drop and catch it. Roll it back. Rotate and form the fist. Let it drop and catch it. Rotate it back and form the fist. Five times. And as you come to the top each time, make sure you relax that fist. Don't let any tension build up in the fist. Every time, just roll it and relax at the top after the catch. That is correlated with Hong Chuan, and you will do the quiet standing after that also.